The first group in the air was a diversionary force intended to confuse German defenders. It turned back to England after crossing the Channel. The actual attack force of twelve bombers was led by Colonel Frank Armstrong, with Acre farther back in the formation as an observer. Spots had wanted to go as well, but because he had been briefed that the British were decrypting German Enigma messages, it was considered too risky from a security standpoint in the event his aircraft was shot down. This knowledge would keep him from ever participating in a wartime mission. The target was the Sotteville Railroad Marshalling Yard in Rouen, about forty miles inland from the English Channel. The twelve bombers, escorted by British Spitfires, met tentative resistance from ME-109s and FW-190s, together with indifferent anti-aircraft fire. Two B-17s were slightly damaged by flak, and credit was awarded to one gunner for the destruction of a single fighter. Bombing results, from about 23,000 feet, were promising. The bombs from all but one aircraft fell within a half-mile circle. In fact, Spots made the claim to Arnold that the bombing accuracy of that particular mission surpassed that of any British or German mission flown to date. Of course, the raid was too small to do much lasting damage, but it still showed the potential of the daylight precision bombing concept to which the Americans were so wed. The mission drew great press coverage and hearty congratulations from all quarters. Aker was especially enthusiastic after the flight, and remarked, why, I never got such a kick out of anything in my life. In the coming months, as men were blown apart on similar missions, the comment would seem to be careless and adolescent, but he surely could be forgiven. The mission was a significant culminating point in a career lived for just that sort of action. 